Welcome to the January 2019 advanced uh, lesson for the free monthly lessons by amandomike.com. Happy New Year! Um, and uh, today we're going to do a little discussion on triplets and how they affect what the right hand is doing. Um, everything I'm going to talk about in this lesson is going to be in a derivation of four uh, or apply to derivations of um, tunes in four, so three, four, 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 um, seven, four, five, four. <clears throat> when you start going into tunes in 6, 8, and 9, 8, 12, 8, that's a different thing. So this is specifically triplets in um, derivations of 4. Uh, very briefly, the um, when we're in 4, uh, if you haven't come across this before, um, the rule is that our right hand should be down on the beat and up off the beat. Um, that's the rule. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, but when we start adding triplets in, that can start um, throwing in uh, some spanners into the works and mess with what our right hand is doing. So we have to think about it and you have to have a plan for it. Um, and there's two types of, well, I would consider there's two types of triplets. Um, there's triplets where um, they're in odd number of groups. So you can have one set of triplets or three sets of triplets or five sets of triplets. Um, or you can have it where there's even number of triplets, so you can have two sets of triplets or four sets of triplets, and so on. Um, and they're very different how they affect what our right hand is doing. Um, first of all, when the, the most difficult one is when you have odd number of triplets, so you've just got one group of triplets thrown in there, or three groups of triplets, which is quite common, but the most common is one uh, group of triplets plonked into a nice down up, down up, down up section. Um, this is quite common in Irish music, um, and what happens is, um, w no matter where in the bar these triplets fall, um, it knocks you out of sync for the rest of the bar. So if it was the first beat, you'd have triplet, I'll do it properly. Because it's, a, it's an odd number of notes you're inserted into the bar, it means for the rest of the bar, your pick is the opposite direction. So it should be um, down, up, down, up after the triplet, but you end up up, down, up, down. And it doesn't matter where in the bar that happens, if it's like uh, the second beat, you end up doing ups where there should be downs and downs where there should be ups. So the way you get around this is you have, what, a little double down to correct yourself. Um, um, what you need to do is if the triplet falls on the beat, which 99% of the time it will fall on the beat, it's very rare that a triplet will come in off the beat. Um, you need to do, so you enter the triplets on a down, and you go down, up, down, through the triplet. And then you need to do another down straight after the triplet to recorrect your right hand. So it's like a little double down in there. Do it slowly, you can see there. So the, my triplet is the first beat of this bar, and then every other beat after that is uh, quavers. Do that again. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. So yeah, hopefully you can see the little double down that I'm putting in there. 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 And that is so important because it means for the rest of the tune then your right hand is back where it should be. Uh, and again, no matter where you drop this in the bar, so if it was the second beat, so it was um, two quavers and then triplets, you still put that double down in there. Um, and this is really common in Irish music. Um, and um, everyone has their own solution of how to get around this. This is the way I do it and the way I think it's the most logical um, so yeah, practice that, just uh, inserting a triplet somewhere in the bar. So you should just practice getting that double down in there to correct yourself so that you stick to that rule of down on the beat, up off the beat, um, even when you start inserting triplets in there. When uh, even number of triplets, so you say you get two groups of triplets that come in, that's actually nice and simple. Um, were relatively simple. Um, because you're now adding an even number of notes, so you've got two, two, two groups of triplets, so you've got six notes that are being, being plonked into the tune, it doesn't actually affect your right hand, you'll come out of it on the right direction. So um, say you were to add two triplets at the start of the bar and then four quavers, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. 
if you play those triplets down, up, down, up, down, up, you just kind of play through them. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you come out of it on the right direction. Uh, so that's a little bit easier. So. Um, not as difficult if it's an even number of triplets you just kind of play down up down up down up down up through them and then you'll come out of them um, in the right direction I I think we should try and put those into practice uh, and one of the best types of music to put that into practice is Irish music because they love adding those single triplets to try and uh, mess you up and the tune I'm going to use is called the Mason's Apron one of my favorite tunes uh, one of my favorite Irish tunes especially um, and um, the, the original tune has a lot of individual ones added. You can hear it in there. Adding a little single triplet um, on the second beat of the first bar. So you have to do the double down to correct yourself. And then just to, so we can try both, I've added in a group of two triplets at the end of the A part. Just so you can uh, see how you come out on the right pick stroke if you just play through it. Um, so they're the two main examples. Bar one. But that happens all the way through the tune in the B part. And one in the first beat of that bar. Triple at the first beat of that bar. And then just at the end of each phrase is uh, a group of two triplets just so you can practice that. Uh, so I'm gonna have the, the metronome in. Uh, just follow me, um, try and get those triplets in, and the most important thing, I'm going to play it a little slower just so you can really practice, the most important thing is that what that right hand's doing, um, that the triplet should not stop it playing down up on down on the beat, up off the beat, that's the most important thing. This is going to be twice through, um, I've got the metronome set at 80 minims per minute, so it's about this speed. So, so that's a little slower than you would play it in an Irish session, but I just I slowed it down just so we can concentrate on what that right hand is doing. Um, after four, one, two, three, four. There we have it, uh, a mason's apron with triplets in. Um, uh, if that's too fast, you should use the YouTube uh, slow down function to play along. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, head over to mandomike.com. If you want the tab or the music for this, uh, it's linked below. Um, it's free, little free PDF workshop worksheet to download. Um, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next month.